Hey family, I call y'all my family because y'all my people. Let me turn this down. Okay, so let me begin. Now I know you're looking at my hair like what the hell wrong with her hair, right? So basically, hmm, the wig turned out really good like I told you in my other video. But I've been going through an experiment where I'm trying to experiment on how I want to do my hair. This is my natural hair and I really do not know what is the type of my hair. I know my hair was and slightly still is damaged really really bad. Um, my um, edges here are trying to go, uh, go back out. So basically we're gonna get to the point of this video the point of this video is that I'm thinking about going natural I'm not gonna put any more chemicals in my hair no more perms no more heat nothing of that nature now if it gets to the point where my hair really looks really really bad to the point where it's just like nappy nappy then I will um, do the pull technique or the press or the high comb whatever you guys may know it as I will do that technique um when I was little my hair was the curly type of texture and my older sister my dad and my mom used to always say she have coarse hair he used to always tell my hair was more of a fine type texture so my hair used to um kind of wave up or curl up or whatever you would want to say when it would rain or when I would wet it it do that now but not as much as it used to because like I said it's very very damaged so <clears throat> I was using um Alphagy if you look on my other um, videos and you will see that I was using Alphagy and it didn't work for me um don't get me wrong it is a very very good product it's just um mm, I don't think it was moving fast enough for what I would like it to do um it has stop the shedding it has killed that and I like it for that but the, it was just too much protein in my hair my hair wasn't used to um, all that and see I, I'm the type of person I wash my hair once a week and the shampoo was making my hair kind of too hard and and I would have to damn near use half of my uh, too many reconstructing bottles to soften my hair back up so I really like that so I moved to another um, family and I have that here today to share that with you guys. I am using Carry Care. Um, I like this because the bottle is very worth it. I spend what did I spend on this? I think I spent what ten ninety nine for this here, my local beauty supply in Houston, Texas. Um, this is for the uh, dry and itchy scalp moisturizing shampoo pH 6.0 and so far I love it um, the way it makes my hair feel when I wash it y'all it make my hair feel like a little tingly type of feeling it's like you, you basically feel like your hair is getting clean like it's cleaning the hell out your hair cause your hair be tingling and I also use the um same type of condition dry and itchy scalp moisturizer condition the ph 4.0 this is also good this one is i think blue and this one is the white or vice versa but um they both smell kind of like a mint type of flavor or i'm sorry a mint type of smell if you will but they're both very very good very very good so you might want to go invest in a care care like i said i'm going to try to go natural the last time I actually put a, a chemical in my hair was on November the 24th, which was my birthday. I did it that night because we went out and had a party and everything like that, so I had to wash and prime my hair. So, um, normally I, I, I used to prime my hair every eight weeks, but I'm not going to do it anymore, y'all. And I'm not, you know what? I'm not going to do nothing like the big chop. I'm not going to do the big chop. I'm not going to chop my hair. And like, um, um, I've been working on my brain for it, y'all. I've been working on trying to get that situated so I can already know what I want to tell y'all. So, um, the, the hairstyles that I've been wearing so far, and I've been thinking about this now. It's been two weeks. But, um, the hairstyles that I'm going to incorporate while I'm doing my natural uh, transition is 
the braid back, the bolded back, straight going back, and then kind of let your hair be wavy. Um, the band two knots, that's what I've done. I did that last night, and that's why my hair kind of got like a little curly on the ends. But I've been running my fingers through it all day long, just playing it or whatever. And that's why it's not really um, curly at the top or whatever, but it is still kind of like a little curly at the bottom. And when I do my band two knots, and I did it around my whole entire head, I spray it with my Lustrous Pink Sheen Spray. And this is really good. I got this for $169 on my local beauty supply here in East Texas. And this is some good stuff. I just love the way it smells. And it actually makes your hair shine. But like I said, my hair is like a fine texture. So I've heard about um, Do Grow. So I'm trying this mega thick growth oil. And I got this for $5.99 at my local beauty supply here in Houston, Texas. And so far, mm, I love it. Um, it's very, very, very greasy, y'all. And the way I do it, I take the little cap off and I kind of go in between my hair. And I squeeze it. And I go all the way around. And I kind of put it around all my edges of my hair. Because I'm trying to get my edges to come back in. Because see, I was the type of girl in high school. I used to always wear... um micro braids and they be uh, braiding really tight. I used to go to the Africans. African 2000 is the name of the place here in Houston and they get they grip it. They grip it really really good. My edges never f fell out or anything like that. It's just I want my edges to get back healthy from um, wearing those braids. Also um, when I do my twist out or my braids or um, my bantu uh, twist i usually moisturize my hair with a leave-in conditioner cream by garnier fruity slick and shine and i just picked this up at my local walgreens and i like it so far um i love 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 the way it smells and let me tell you it makes your hair really really soft so you know it's, uh, it says for frizzy dry unmanageable hair soothe this hair for long lasting frizz control um and I can say that it does help to frizz, you know, stay out your hair or whatever. But once again, you know, if you wanted to ride on this boat with, on this boat, if you want to, you know, get a, get a plane ticket, get on that plane with me, or you want to get on this bus with me and try to go along with me to try to do this natural thing, then feel free to. Or if you don't, then hey, feel free to do that too. But, um, I'm going to give it a try. This is my first time going natural. And um, I want my natural hair to come back. I, I really do. I really do miss it. And my hair, it's just been through the storm and the rain. It's been, I've been, let me see, I'm on seven minutes now. It's been through the storm and the rain. And I've been putting color in my hair. It used to be red, jet black, um, what, brown, gold. I had every color you could think of in my hair. And I'm trying to, you know, um, overcome all that too. So... Basically, that's it for this video. I'm not going to keep on holding you long. So, once again, we'll do a recap. Care, care, dry, and itchy. Conditioning and shampoo. Go invest in that. It's very, very good. The Garnier Fruities Leave-In Conditioning Cream. Go invest in that. It's a very good product. The uh, Do Grow Mega Thick Growth Oil. For those of you that want thicker hair, go invest in that. I think it's very, very good. And all sheen, which I don't have to even invest in that. You can get any kind of all sheen you want. But if you like the way certain stuff smells, you're uh, a freak for smells or fragrances, go get this. It smells really, really good. Anyway, um, so I think that's about it. And um, if you want to ask me any questions or anything like that, want me to do any tutorials on this, that, and the other, just feel free to let me know and I will try to break something out for you. Um, until then, I think I will end this with the note of saying, be blessed, have a nice day, thank you for watching, please rate, please subscribe, and until next time, deuces. One day, I'm gonna understand.